Hey, what's going on everyone? So I had to share this because I'm really sharing it with myself because uh, sometimes I get in the trap of what I'm gonna talk to you about uh, real quick. But the best life advice, top up there. I mean, you can't say it's the best, but it's among the top life advice that I ever got in my life. Wasn't even given it to me. It was on one of my wife's conference call and I actually heard someone say this on the call walking by to like make a protein shake. And what it was, was master the mundane. And man, that resonated with me. I was like, master the mundane. What did Michael Jordan do? Like best basketball player to ever live. Dude, that guy mundanely would shoot shots over and over and over. He wasn't looking for like the next new playbook. He wasn't looking for like the next best coach. He would just, he mastered the mundane. You wanna master nutrition? Then it's gonna be simple as you gotta follow your process, whatever that process might be, every day, day in and day out. Me, like lately, I want to, I, I want a diet jump, man, because it's, it's cool, like everyone's talking keto right now, and it's like, man, all time is running to my family, maybe I should do keto, maybe it'll help my brain, which there is some research on that. But it's like, you know what, I know that I gotta, I gotta master the mundane, because I know if I start jumping around and chasing newness, I mean, that's that dopamine release, and that, that's how addiction kind of gets started. You know, like, you want to master a marriage? Get off the feed! Get off the feed and stop looking at all those those options, man. Get off the Instagram. I had to do that. You know, I, I we, we promote bodybuilding shows. I'd get on the Instagram and it'd be like one banging awesome physique after the next. And I'm like, dude, this can't be good for the marriage. I, I had to get off. It's mundane. My life is now mundane. When I use the lavatory, I can no longer scroll through Instagram for the last several years. It's mundane. You know, I pick up a magazine, health and fitness, whatever. You know, you want to master money? You know, then, then quit changing from this investment to that investment. Like, and dude, I've done all of this. When Bitcoin was all popular, I'm like, dude, how do I invest in Bitcoin, man? We're, you know, we're gonna get rich on this thing. Man, no, it's like the tortoise and the hare. You know, you've got someone that's just mundanely putting money into, let's just say their 401k. Mundane, boring, $10 here, $10 there, mundanely. Then over 15 years, they become an overnight millionaire. You know, no, it's because they would mundanely were doing over and over and over, mastered a process. You know, I, I love to use my wife as an example because uh, there was two things that when we first met, two things she really, really struggled with. The first was physique. Now she's gorgeous, beautiful, hot inside and out, but her physique, it, it wasn't built for like the competition, for like a figure. She just didn't have the curves and the waist structure and things. Um, but she said, you know, I'm gonna do this. Show me the process. So I showed her a process. You know, two months goes by and she's plucking away at her process. No, no one knows, no one said anything. I'm out there winning overalls and having a great time. You know, she's just plucking away, plucking away. Finally, nine months go by and we're at a posing clinic and one of the judges sees her and is like, Oh, I mean, she, to, in his eyes, she became an overnight physique millionaire. You know what I mean? And all she did was just day in and day out. Nothing new, didn't chase this diet, didn't chase that diet, didn't chase this protocol, didn't chase, just mundanely followed the process. And then overnight became a nine month overnight amazing success. Like completely re-scripted re her genetic potential. It was, it was simply amazing. The other thing that uh, that I just credit my wife with, and that, that's why whenever I want to jump to newness, I think of these two stories because I've seen them happen in front of my eyes. So the first was my wife's physique story. That that keeps me away from newness. You know, no diet, no get big quick scam. I'm not gonna fall for any of that because of her lead. Now, the second was when we met. And I didn't know this. She told me this, but when we met, she had like fifty dollars in her bank account, like fifty dollars. So she joined a company. And just, I didn't understand it, but I just knew that, I knew she worked this company every single day, like holidays, every single day she, she did whatever it is that she did in her company, just mundanely, mundanely. And you know, it's, eventually she won a couple trips and here and there, and I'm just like, okay, you got your thing going, love it. Dude, she made $10,000 last month. Her paycheck went from $50 in her bank account to $10,000. Thousand a month. She's like an overnight financial success, but not really. She was a three-year, a three-year overnight financial success of doing the same 
boring things. Now, I'm sure they were fun at, at first. I'm sure when she first got into this business, I'm sure when you first get that diet, when you first get that new exercise program, you're gonna be all hyped. You're like, yeah, it's new. I'm doing the four by four training program, or you know, I'm doing the macro missionary macros. It's all exciting. But dude, that is going to get mundane as heck really quick. And the ones who win are the, gonna be the ones who master that mundaneness over and over and over. All right, so that's what I've got. Uh, I, I love it. I love the story just because, again, my wife, I've seen it happen. I've seen her do boring as heck, mundane as heck, over and over and over, and I saw what it can do. So, you know, when I kind of get in, like, when motivation is, is gone, and I want, that, I want that newness, I want, oh, maybe, maybe I should try this. Maybe I should invest in Bitcoin. You know, maybe I should whatever. I just think of that. No, I have, I, I have to keep mastering the mundane because if I'm going to be great at anything, that's what it's going to take. And here's the thing, we were made for greatness. We, weren't, we were made to experience a great life, not sample a bunch of good things. You know what I mean? Think about that. Are we, are we just trying to sample that quick dopamine release? Like, hey, it's new here. I'm up, I'm high, I'm, ch I'm chasing the newness. Ooh, that's boring now. Now, hey, I'll chase this newness. I bet you can live a pretty good life chasing newness, a really, probably a good life. But you're not gonna experience a great life. You're not gonna experience the Erica Dale revolutionized physique, you know, by sampling goodness along the way. You're not gonna, you're not gonna see the Erica Dale, you know, not two pennies rubbed together, now earning 10 grand in a month, holy smokes. That is, to me, that is great, that is greatness. It's like, holy smokes, I'm in the presence of greatness, but you're not gonna do that chasing goodness. So experience a great life, don't chase a good one, and rock and roll. I'm gonna get back to this workout and be mundane as heck and do the same darn thing I did last week. <laughs> you get the picture. All right, rock and roll, guys. Happy Monday.